Okay, so um, one important thing to know is that surface area does not need to be for z equal to f of xy over some region in the xy plane. So when we wrote this first formula way back at the start of these notes and we wrote fx squared plus fy squared, we are assuming some surface f equal to f of xy for our plot of z. But z isn't special compared to x and y that makes this possible. So we could also write for x equal to g, a function of y and z, we would integrate over some region r, the root g sub y squared plus g sub z squared plus 1 over the region RA projection in the YZ plane. Or for Y equal to H of XC, we could do the same thing. Integrate over the region R, the square root of H sub X squared plus H sub Z squared plus one DA for RA projection. in the xz plane. So what this is going to look like for the first example. Um, so now here is my surface x, a function of y and z. And then maybe here's the little part that I want to take the uh, surface area of. And here's the region R in the YZ plane. So there's option A. And option B is going to look, um, it's going to be a little harder for me to do because the one going sideways is always hardest for me. Okay, let's just imagine that that's a surface Y where you could plot it at any point by X and Z. And then here's that little wedge where I want to know the surface area. And here is the region R. That's a projection of that part I want down into the XZ plane. And so um, I wouldn't, oops, I forgot to label that one B. I wouldn't necessarily like write down and memorize these things because they follow the exact same rule as the F version where Z is a function of X and Y. It's just the idea is that you can change the variables and you have to shift your perspective so that you think about the top being where the X axis is or where the Y axis is depending on if you're thinking about the second or third option compared to before, we always thought about the top being the oops, up the z axis and then we look down into the x y plane. That's like a, a natural way for us to think, but we can just kind of turn it all sideways and it's the same. Like if tomorrow you woke up and you renamed x, y, and z to be each other, all the formulas would still work. So there's no reason why rotating sideways would change the process. And we're going to do an example to show that next. 